needs. We hope to give local school boards the authority to offer salaries that are competitive in the marketplace. The state does not set teacher salaries, local school boards do. They do it with the resources that are available to them from property taxes, from the school funding formula, and from other funding sources that they may have. They react to the marketplace and they use their money prudently to hire teachers at the best uh, value they can get. Okay, we'll continue with rebuttal, Senator. Thank you. Again, I listened carefully to the Lieutenant Governor's answer and I didn't hear a plan for increasing pay for teachers. Uh, I must assume from two opportunities to do that that there isn't one on the other side. There's a very clear one on this side. A, we need to examine the bill passed by the Congress just two days ago for 26 million additional dollars just for teachers. B, we need to reduce the size of state government. We all know that state government has grown way beyond the, the uh, population of the state of South Dakota. We have to reduce it by having discipline on top and imposing that discipline below. The, remember, the growth in state government has nothing to do with K through 12 education. In fact, Senator Knutson and I, when we made our proposal to reduce the size of state government, excluded K through 12 and Medicaid. So those bugaboos have been taken off the table. State government must be reduced in size so that we can reinvest in K through 12 education and look to the future of this state. 